Hello and welcome to episode... 7? Yeah, episode 7! I can't believe I'm still doing this. Episode 7 of Dark Souls 2 Let's Play. This is Beacon speaking, and we're going to show you the back route to uh, get through to the Lost Bastille. Uh, this allows you to uh, skip a boss if you run into a boss that gives you trouble. Um, I will also be showing you that direction in the next episode. Um, this, well, probably not the next episode. It's going to be a few. Um, this episode will feature a mini boss and uh, we'll probably break off at the bonfire just before we start uh, going into like some crazy shit. That being said, in order to do this, you need to go and pick up a uh, Pharaoh stone um, from the lady who sells the stuff. I will show you which lady that sells which stuff. Um, the lady that sells the stuff is that lady. This lady sells stuff. So we're going to buy items from her. What we're going to buy is uh, this Pharaoh's Lockstone. Um, very handy. I already have one, but you need to. Um, also, we're going to go ahead and pick out the Fragrant Ranch of Yore, because that's needed for something on the other side. And we're also going to uh, talk to her a bunch. And uh, we're going to keep talking to her. And keep talking to her. Alright, so that means that she's going to go head off to uh, Majula, which is where we need to start from. So, off to Majula we go. Now, from here, we need to go this way. Uh, you see this nice big mountain cliffside thing with a really ornate but busted down door? Yeah, that leads places! Uh, it leads to two places. It leads to the Huntsman's Cops... Copes? Craps? Crips? Crips. I don't know. It's a grove of trees. So however you say that. Anyways, um, and that'll be necessary to continue the game going down the uh, fire guy thing. What we're going to do is we're going to make our way to the Lost Sinner, and there are two ways of going about this. We can go through uh, the underground way, or we can go through the pursuer, which we just did. Um, this is not a particularly difficult route, so long as you have a general idea of what you're doing. The biggest issue is going to be giant dudes in armor, as it always is. Um, but I have no reasonable suspicion that any of you are going to have trouble, because I'm giving you such an excellent guide, and you know exactly what to do. Please don't hit me. Anyways, come up here. Um, these guys will hit you back if you hit them. Um, don't hit them. They're nice. Um, these guys, however, are jerk faces, and they'll try and hit you regardless. So you're just going to move out of the way. Um, fairly similar attack pattern to the Pursuer. Just three hits, take your shots, back off, let them do their little swings. Terrible swordsman. Anyways, so you're going to kill them, pick up whatever item they drop. Going to activate this bonfire down here, which I already did because I'm awful, and I forgot that this is where I went and grabbed all those souls to level up the last episode. <sighs> These guys are a titanic pain in the ass, because they just go ham. Also, they attack slow, so it's very hard to judge. And then they do stuff like this, where they just, like, swing like crazy. So, two-hand your rapier, or whatever weapon you're using, and beat the crap out of them while dodging, like a boss. Because you can, and you will, and I have great faith in you. All of you. You terrible, terrible players. Anyways, so, do the same thing with this guy. Try not to fall off ledges. Falling off ledges is bad. Also, try not to get stabbed in the spine, because that also is bad. Once you finish stabbing him, because you are the greatest, uh, go ahead and grab some of these items. Uh, human Effigy, Soul of Enabled Soldier. Again, money makers, give you them souls. Come up here, body, grab item off of him. Then, once you kill him, this 
thingy here will pop up. Now, go ahead and focus on that weird cathedral thing, lighthouse. Alright, you see how its floors are missing? I'll watch what happens when we pull this. Mmm. Yeah, really had to lift hard. But, if you look down there, and Shazamo! The arena just got bigger. This will be very handy in the boss fight where we have to sit down there. <clears throat> now, up here, the uh, NPCs are kind of dicks because uh, they will attack you multiples at a time. Uh, first, they'll leave you alone to let their boss dude hit you with giant sword. So you're going to dodge like a boss, stab him a bunch, and walk towards one of these guys and hope that the other guy doesn't walk up and stab your face. Ow. And here's the other guy, who's going to sit behind his shield, because he's cool like that. And you're just going to dodge all that stuff, because you're the greatest. And dodge. Dodge. Unnecessary dodge. Stab a bunch of times. That extra dodge was for flair. Grab all these cracked blue eye orbs. Uh, these are covenant items that allow you to invade other people. Um, I'm playing it offline because I'm a scrub, but, you know, that's what you can do. And pull this for maximum arena ownage. Uh, you can see down there that there is uh, a guy you can summon to be friendly and helpful. Um, and he is very friendly and helpful, because he staggers the absolute shit out of this upcoming boss. Um, we're not going to go the other direction, mostly because there's a dragon there, and it's not fun to try and fight a dragon when you're me, wearing very shitty gear with a crummy sword. So you're gonna dodge hammer, bro. God, I hate these guys. Always with the smacking in the face. I wish they were like that all the time. Grab his stuff, and go commune with the spirits. Hello, Masterless Glencore. Lend us your strength. Anyways! Go find that delicious aromatic ooze on your, uh, item bar. And, uh, go ahead and use that sucker. Ah, oh, Glencore! Who's being nice? Wasn't doing anything- Oh, Glencore. And that's how you lose Masters of Gun Core. Dildo. Anyways, with uh, Glencore out of the picture, uh, we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Which is time-consuming, but not necessarily difficult. Um, here's our challenger. Guy with a pike. Dodge and stab. Simple fare. Now, he does have an attack where he does two swings. Very painful. Um, so long as you just dodge the initial one, you're generally okay. Always with the stabbing of the butts. You are a butt stabber. Alright, and the uh, Dragon Rider is down. Look at that, mini boss victory achieved. Super easy, super chill. <sighs> easy day, easy life. Anyways! Up we go to the bonfire in this area. We're going to go ahead and activate this. And then we're going to talk to this lady a bunch. We're not going to buy anything, because what the hell's a miracle ever for? We'll just talk to her a bunch of times. And blah, 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 until move soon. Help the gullible by teaching the good word. Alright, once she says that, uh, ignore her and continue on your journey as we uh, head this direction. Now, down here is not fun, so instead of going on with Reckless Abandon like I normally would, we're going to uh, sit at the bonfire to repair our equipment first. Because having your sword break on you mid-combat's no good. So, now that my durability on my sword is up, we're just gonna... Go ahead and run down here. 
something, something, something descent into the dock. Oh, and there's an item. Grab the item, because we're awesome like that. That's a monastery charm. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, and then come through the door. Now, there are going to be more giant dudes in armor up here. It's just a fact of life. Dudes with armor exist, and they are not happy with you ever. Um, in this case, sword bro. Sword bro, not so bad. Hammer bro, pain in the ass. Stab, and done. See? Ta-da! No problem. We're gonna come through here, take a little journey down the stairs. I'm used to this being flooded. Anyways, come down here, look for a guy. Okay, so he's down here, and he's no fun. Show you how to take care of him in a minute. So this is the way all the way down. But before we do that, we're going to uh, deal with this guy. I have plenty of heal stuff I can, I can learn to block. <laughs> Or not. Backstab! Not enough to kill him. But the next two attacks were. And look at that, there's an item. Verify that it's not a trap, and pop that chest open. Mmm, sublime bone dust. Now, sublime, sublime bone dust is very handy in that it increases the power of your Estus flasks. Basically, burn it at the Majula bonfire and you heal more. Pretty handy. So we're gonna step on this sucker and make our descent down into the, uh, the wharf. I don't remember off the top of my head what it's called, but it's a wharf. Down by the ocean where the light house stands. Oh, and here we are. Okay, open the door. Thank you. Uh, always check for items. No items. Okay, so. Fun stuff. No items there. Just keep rolling. Because you like to roll. Oh, and here's a dead guy. Correction, dead now. Check around the corner. Oh, uh, okay, so these things are fun and good to know about. Uh, these are basilisks. They can uh, make you stop moving forever. Uh, once they curse you, you're not doing much. Make quick work of these guys. You can, you know, touch this guy with your fragrant branch of yore, but uh, I've got better things to do with it, so I'm going to hold on to it. Come around this corner. Also no prizes. Whatever. Don't need no prizes. Come all the way through here. All the way around. And take a seat. Go ahead and uh, enjoy that wonderful, wonderful fire. And we will uh, use the unseen path to hide to go to the wharf in the next episode. This has been Beacon Speaking. I will see you all in the next video.